Meet Keepa, if you haven't already. The spongy, bouncy little robot has become a music video star. Millions of viewers have watched his bulbous body and expressionless face dance through numerous YouTube videos. Keepon's popularity shouldn't be surprising. After all, it was designed to attract attention. The creators developed the bot specifically to give children with autism a new way to learn social behaviors. But the appeal quickly spread. When we're trying to create things that are useful in autism therapy, anybody can relate to essential kind of social cues that, that we're trying to put, put into these robots. Keepon is not the only cute companion designed for therapeutic purposes. Paro is a robotic seal that has been used in nursing homes and long-term care facilities for more than 15 years. The robot is particularly useful for patients with dementia. It responds to touch, sound, and light, regulates its body heat, and can eventually learn to respond to its name. When people interact with Paro, it's kind of provoked the memory with your pet or your live animal before, so people will feel like relaxed or motivated. So why a seal, exactly? I created uh, three kinds of robots. One is a dog, second is a cat, and third is a seal. He found that the seal was familiar enough to be lovable without creating unreasonable expectations. Keeping things minimal has worked for Keepon as well. It has appeal in all different cultures, and it also allows us to sort of read into it whatever we want. So the fact that it doesn't have facial expressions, um, you know, when we look at it, we can sort of, we can, we can imagine all kinds of things that this robot might be thinking or feeling. But the simple exterior hides Keepon's sophisticated design. There's two cameras and each eye is a camera, the nose is a microphone, and then there are four motors down in the base that are essentially pulling on wires that run up into the body. This rubber skin sort of protects the robot from children as well as children from the robot. It's really able to take a lot of abuse and we can, uh, we can put it out in a playroom and not worry about whether kids are hitting it, kicking it, sitting on it. Their durability makes these therapeutic robots more than just cute robotic toys. When I say Paro or some robots are substitution for pet, you know, people may expect to own or keep for many years, like more than 10 years. But such high standards come with a hefty price tag. The list price is $6,000. Since it's, they're handmade one at a time, costs thousands of dollars. These cameras are a few thousand dollars a piece. More than a thousand Paro robots have already been used by caregivers in Japan and Europe, with positive results. And keep on shows promise as well. But in the end, therapeutic robot makers have more to prove than their effectiveness. They'll have to show that these devices provide a healthcare benefit that's worth the cost. For IEEE Spectrum, I'm Josh Romero.